Alright. I don't know if this is a good example. You see, Flash Rider. Alright, yeah, so basically, as you can see, uh, there's four recall stations the green, the yellow, the orange, and the red. Uh, the red, I, f I think, is the last 10 to 15 bullets. I'm not exactly sure, but that's what I've like, estimated it to. But basically, as you can tell, when you shoot one bullet, your spray goes pretty far up with the compensator, right? That's why with the flash hider, tapping is easier, bursting is easier. But if you actually compare these, the flash hider is better in the green stage, yellow stage, and orange stage. The only place where it's really fucking bad is the red stage. So basically, if you play compensator, it goes from, like, a lot of recoil, and basically it gets less and less and less, right? Whereas with, if you play flash out, it gets like, it, no recall, a little bit recall, a bit more, and a lot. So you lose, like, this is why you lose track, the red zone. But you don't want to get there, usually, right? So what you can do is that before you get to the red zone, you stop shooting for a moment, and then you start shooting again. And you start over from point zero. So you go like, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then you can stop shooting, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you reset again. You can do that three times, or you can do that 15, two times. Um, you have 31 bullets, you want to have one bullet left, so 15 times 2 is 30, you have one bullet to fast reload, because you always want to reload with one bullet left or more, to have a faster, uh, faster reload animation. So, that's why the flash shatter is better than the compensator, as well as tap firing and, you know, resetting the, uh, the dot is so much more important in professional play, because you go for the headshots. Um, and playing the flash shatter actually gives you way more opportunities to do that, because that the reset time is way less. It's like double as fast or something like that. Uh, it's ob obviously we're talking milliseconds, but that's what makes it a difference. Especially with a gun like Bok. I want to show that actually. Bok's gun has like a really high uh, spike, I believe. I don't have actually... Yeah, look at this. So, the difference between starting there with a bullet and starting all the way up there is huge. So when you shoot one bullet, you go here and you need it to drop. And you shoot one bullet, goes up and you need to drop. And with the flash hider, it's like, you see it's pretty further down. So with the flash hider, your tap fire will be way more consistent and faster to like, reset, I guess we can call it. And once again, the green, yellow, and orange, like the green and yellow are less in, with the flash hider, and the orange is pretty much the same as the, uh, as the compensator. But because of the green starts so far up, the rest of the recall is also going to be pretty far up, whereas with the flash hider, you see the orange is a tiny bit further down, and so is the yellow, so is the green, and so is the red, but the red spikes super hard. Show as gun recoil difference? Okay. I mean, any of you guys could do this at home. But now, oh, that's the skin, interesting. So, same thing here. It's the same thing for every gun. The green is way further down, the yellow is further down, the orange is pretty much the same as the compensator, Okay, so the difference with Ash's gun is that you can see that the, the yellow zone is so much better already. You know, as you saw on Jaeger's gun, the yellow zone was pretty bad and the orange was decent. But on Ash's gun, you actually get a decent ye uh, yellow zone and you get a decent uh, orange and then you get a really nice red zone. Whereas if you compare these, as you can see, already at the yellow stage, the compensator is better than the flash hider. And it only gets better that, you know, at the at the orange it's less than the flash hider, and at the red zone it's way, 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 way less. And they spike about the same, right? They both end around the same height. The only difference is the first bullet, the first three bullets are going to be way higher if you play compensator, whereas when you play the flash hider, the first three to five bullets will be way less. That's why the compensator is considered really, really nice for Ash's gun, but I like tap firing, so I would still play compensator for this extra, like, refreshness. But if you want to like survive in the like, you know, middle area of the spray pattern, you want to go with the compensator. Which like Kendall Akiri does. He sprays the entire magazine and he plays holo, so he has like zero recoil. But I personally like the compensator. Or the flash shadow, sorry. Another thing for Bandit. Same thing. You see, the green is so far down, and then it goes to shit, to shit, to shit. And if you compare this, you see, it, it goes to shit. Then it gets pretty nice, pretty nice, pretty nice. So the flash hider is only better for the first literally five bullets max, maybe three bullets. And after that, you see how much it spikes? It goes from being a little, little, little tiny thing, and then it just spikes and spikes and spikes, and it goes hard left. 
this is the middle of the scope like straight up and you're gonna end up firing all the way out here like way fit up as well so as you can see you basically shoot like from his shoulder to like above his head um, in like point like in two seconds three seconds or something right whereas here you start pretty far up but then it spikes very slowly and by very little so again the compensator is better for the mp7 unless you literally tap fire like literally only tap fire See, I'm comparing them. So this is a very steady one, right? Super, super steady, super, super nice, super, super fluent um, face mechanic. You go from stage 1 to stage 2 to stage 3 to stage 4, and you can barely notice a difference. Here you go from, ah, nice, a headshot. Oh, shit, what the fuck? I'm fucking boosted. That's basically how you go here, right? Um, and for the Famas, I haven't checked this one personally, but I'm pretty sure by imagination that that's the same thing here. Same thing. You start decent, you get nice, nice, and nice. Where with this you start pretty high, then it gets less recoil, and less recoil, and less recoil. So basically you have the most recoil at the beginning of the spray, and at the end of the spray. In between, it's going to be pretty steady, and almost like little to nothing. So actually, Compensator is probably better for like Tutsi's Farmers overall. But it's, it's a, as you can see, it's a very minor difference, right? It's a very, very minor difference. Uh, the compensator spray goes wider, whereas the flash hider goes further up. As you can see. Like the red zone is all the way up here at the A, and the red zone here, like it chills at the A, whereas this one spikes to the A. So it's way more steady here. So flash hider is usually better. Also, when you shoot, I believe when you shoot with flash hider, you don't have a muscle flash. So when you, if you shoot for a smoke, they can't see you. If you play Compensator, they can see the muscle flash and you can pre fire through the smoke because how the smoke mechanic works in the game. So a little bit of some boring math, as I call it, but...